Hey, this is Courtney with the Highly Sensitive Badass, and my friend suggested today that I do something about grief, and so I wanted to do that because I agreed that that would be helpful for highly sensitive people because it is our nature to feel everything so deeply, and the past few days I've really been feeling a lot of grief so sad um, over the passing of my dog who died on Thursday and he had a really nice long life but it's been a difficult few days for me and actually surprised me um, how sad I've really been because it was not totally unexpected so the main takeaways I'll make this short first are noticing that I really am this time around letting myself feel things so deeply and I'm not stopping it. Um, I think it's our tendency to judge our feelings because culturally speaking, we don't honor our feelings, especially if they are intense, sad feelings, the kind that we want to avoid. And so I've really been just totally letting it all go, crying whenever I need to cry. Um, so really allowing for the feelings is so important. Please let yourself just feel, feel, feel because there's so much beauty and release in that and crying is a huge release as well so let that happen and then the second hold on i'm getting um, a message on my phone so the second thing i noticed coming up were my thoughts intruding on my grief and my feelings and after a few days i guess my mind decided that it was time that i should be done by now because you know um I guess I had it in my head that it should just take a few days for me to get over this. I don't know why I thought that. I just had developed this feeling and this belief that a few days, you know, and then back to work, back to business, Courtney. Get, get you know, get your head on, put, put those feelings away and get back to business. And it really just didn't happen that way. So Monday, I'm still in tears this morning and my mind is saying, well, I can't believe you're not over this yet. Like, come on, you've got things to do. And I do, I have a big talk coming up on Saturday that I have to prepare for. So my mind is very busy telling me, bossing me around, telling me to shut it down. And my feelings have other ideas. So it's been an interesting, um, an interesting, opposing, uh, interesting opposing forces, I'll say that, with the mind and the feelings, because they often don't, um, they aren't governed by the same, um, I'm having a trouble for words, but they're, they're, they come from different places. And so be wary of your mind and what it thinks is best for you because it's not always right. Our mind um, has, is full of preconceived thoughts and beliefs that may not be our own, may not be best for us. And so I would really honor your feelings above what your mind says you should be feeling or you should be doing. Because anytime the word should is involved, that's usually a red flag, that that's not really what's in your highest interest. So that's my little tidbit for today, short and sweet. Um, please, if you like this video, subscribe. Visit my website at thehighlysensitivebadass.com. And I'd love to hear from you, so please leave a comment below. I hope you have a really wonderful night. Bye.